He had a pretty good year for indie gaming, and some stood out and kicked so much ass that they outplayed AAA titles. So what are they? And which ones are the best? Hi, my name is Jordan, host of Alter Element Games, and from Hot Topics to Underrated Sleepers, these are my top 10 indie games of 2014. Let's start off with number 10. Mega, Mega Coin, coin squad. squad! Collect the hoard coins, coins and beat the crap out of the other players. Other players. It's, it's crazy, crazy fun with friends and I have a good time playing. Time playing. Choose from all the all weird, the weird, crazy, crazy anime style like characters, characters and go for the gold. Quite literally. Quite literally. Now, let now let me stop, stop with this crazy ass announcer voice because it's, it's getting, getting annoying. annoying. So number 9, Starbound. This game was played by a lot of my friends, so I decided to give it a try. And it was a decent time. I'd venture from planet to planet trying to survive and mine for more stuff. Kind of like a combine of Minecraft mixed with Terraria. Now the planets here are procedurally generated, so it's different every time. And after mining so many times, I fell into obstacles and dangers. And when I died, I finally understood a pattern of how to live another day and explore for fun. This was an interesting ride even though it wasn't my main area of expertise but it was fun and interesting nonetheless number eight broken age basically a glorified picture book come to life tim schaefer does it again with the return with the help of kickstarter to bring us a story of loneliness strife and sacrifice with the overall theme of growing up and we all faced that before with great puzzle features and story gameplay connected with near perfect user interface this was a treat for my first indie game of 2014. the ship takes care of me Next up, number 7, Divinity Original Sin. Now, I'm not the greatest fan of CRPGs like Diablo, but what makes this game so special, however, is that it completely devoids itself from all the old nicks from the games of old, and instead tells a tale very much of its own. A tale of conflict between the elements that plays out in a electrifying turn-based battle. This and the miles of dialogue and treasures and loot that you can find in this game was a well surprise for me. Battle system, magic, and everything all clumped together in this one indie game took me by surprise and I gave it a try and I liked it. Number 6, Towerfall Ascension. Wow, this game is awesome. And a friend of mine named Davon told me about it and how you would feel the saltiness and the excitement when you played this game. And let me tell you, he wasn't lying. Towerfall is a multiplayer centric 2D arena game. Players take on the role of archers and attempt to dispatch one another with well-timed shots with a bow and arrow. You can dodge and you can dash and jump off the wall. With a well-placed shot and with the right momentum, you can become one of the best players and archers in Towerfall. Number 5, Lethal League. Baseball mixed with time and combat. Remember the old Ganondorf matches back in Ocarina of Time where you had to hit the energy ball back and forth until one of you lost timing and got damaged? Well, this is it times a thousand. Reminded me of the old midway flashy sports games and the Jet Set Radio character designs likeness. Lethal League was just one of the crazy titles that went balls out this year. Number 4, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. The third game of the series, and a welcome one at that. This 2D experience has everything and gives me a good flashback of the good old days of the 8-bit and 16-bit era. Wow, this game was a treat to play on, especially for the 3DS. With all the new characters, the returning characters, and Shantae herself, with all her powers, moves, and magical hair whip, this game is a force to be reckoned with. Number 3, Bro Force. Imagine if the Expendables had a full video game in 2D with Michael Bay explosions and crumbling environments that affect your traversing ways. That is what we have in Bro Force. Clone all your favorite famous old 80s and 90s action stars and come forth and kick ass. This was a well surprise for me and a great old time that I keep playing over and over. The fun does not stop, especially when you play with friends of yours nearby. At number 2, Transistor. Created by Supergiant Games, the same people who created Bastion. This cyberpunk knockout has you testing your combat IQ and overall awareness of their design. With a beautiful and stylish world that mixed genres together of sci-fi and fantasy, and the story tones of Cowboy Bebop. 
one of my favorite enemies. Switch between bursting combos and freezing time for tactics. This game had me coming back for more because of the main character, who is one of the coolest female characters ever, and with the new game plus with extra content and dialogue. And it was a damn good time. And finally, at number one, Shovel Knight. There's only two games that I've ever backed in Kickstart. Two games I fully believed in with all my heart. The first one was Mighty Number no. 9. Coming soon next year is the love child of creator Kinji and Nafune, co creator of Mega Man. And the second is Shovel Knight, a love letter sent from Yacht Club Games from the fans of 8 and 16 bit era of video gaming. No indie game blew me away like this one did. The stories, the gameplay, characters, and the design of them and the overworld just like Mario 3 shines all the way through. Yacht Club Games, I'm so happy you guys won best indie games in the award ceremony. You guys are also have my favorite game of indie games of 2014. Shit, maybe of all time. Thank you so much for this experience. Shovel Knight is a grand game and I'm proud to say this is my number one choice. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.